Maybe you're in the season of being matured in the spirit. Maybe you're in the season of growing in God. And you may, maybe you're in a dry season. But still, that don't make you throw the towel in and thank God against you. Or, you know, a lot of times people walk around and think, oh, well, the Lord must be punishing me. Man, the Lord ain't, no, ain't punishing you. The scripture says over in Romans 8 and 1, he said that there, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ. The question on the floor is, are you in Christ? If you're in Christ, there are now no condemnation for you because you're in Christ. So stop thinking that God is punishing me. The Lord is trying to show me something. You know, man, don't stop all that nonsense because anybody that's teaching that, they don't know what the spirit of the Bible. Anybody that's teaching that, they don't know what, the, what this word really says. The God is a God of love as well as he is a God of wrath. But I do know this, Jesus came that I may have life. And Jesus came that I may have life and life more abundantly. I don't think the Lord is trying to punish me because Jesus stayed in the stood in my stead. What I'm to do now is to trust and believe that the Holy Ghost is going to live through me to live a life that's pleasing to God. That's what I'm to do. That's what you're to do. You're to live a life that's acceptable before God. And if that's your desire, then you don't have to walk around wondering the Lord punish you. But you got to understand that, you know, that there may, you may be in a season where, where the Lord is stretching you and he's growing, growing your faith. One of the ways he accomplished that is having us watch for his response. See, a lot of times people can't even see the hand of God. I say the one of the ways that we can know that God is God is growing us and the Lord is stressing our faith and making us mature in Him, because what He what He would do, He He would He would bring us to the point that we'll be able to learn how to watch His response. What are you saying, Rico? What I'm saying is, when you ask the Lord for something, it may not happen exactly what you want it to happen. It may not happen in the time that you want it to happen. But I'm telling you. He will unfold and you will see the hand of God in your life and you'll be saying, man, the Lord answer my prayer. Because there's sometimes there's steps and there's things need to go on and they need to happen before it come to pass. But a lot of times we don't see the response of God. A lot of times we don't see the hand of God. A lot of times we don't see the move of the Holy Ghost. Because if you don't seek God, you can never see the hand of God move in your life. You can never see your prayers being answered. You can never see yourself growing and maturing God. If you think it's always going to be a quick fix or right now. I'm not saying that God can't move right now and make things happen for you right now. But the majority of the time, it takes time and it takes a process. And you got to walk in obedience and you'll see the un our process unfold in your life. I know what I'm talking about. I live that kind of life right now. So maybe you're in a season that God is growing you and maybe you need to wait on his response and watch him closely as he moves in your life.